With Disney continuing to run down that list of animated classics to remake, it was inevitable they would get to The Little Mermaid, one of the most beloved films in their catalog. I think the animated film, directed by Ron Clements and John Musker, deserves its status as a wonderful and timeless movie, so the filmmakers had a lot to live up to when transferring it to live action. Even though I don't think these remakes have had the best track record, I had a good time with this one. Director Rob Marshall goes for something sweeping and grand with his approach to the story. He seems particularly interested in developing the love story between Ariel and Prince Eric, and I found myself completely charmed by the way their relationship grew over the course of the movie. Halle Bailey is wonderful as Ariel, capturing her curiosity of the world above the ocean floor and making her a sympathetic character. Meanwhile, Eric has expanded on more here and is a likable character in his own right. Bailey and Jonah Howard King have wonderful chemistry with each other, and it's great seeing them connect through their shared love of collecting things and exploring. Honestly, for The Little Mermaid to work, it had to depend on this central romance, so it's great that the filmmakers and actors were able to make it as sweet and heartwarming as they did. Regarding the other characters, one of the highlights of the remake is Ursula the Sea Witch, played here by Melissa McCarthy. McCarthy is clearly having a lot of fun devouring the scenery for her performance and going all in on the evil nature of this character as she manipulates Ariel and plans to stop her from kissing Eric in time. She even channels a bit of divine in her performance, paying tribute to the visual inspiration for the character in the animated film. Javier Badem is also really good as King Triton. I've long interpreted the character as being an abusive father for his behavior towards Ariel in the first act, and the remake does not shy away from that. Bardem successfully portrays the anger Trine has towards humans, as well as his regret when Errol goes missing after his outburst. An aspect that did underwhelm me was with the animals, not how they were portrayed, but more so their designs. They decide to give Flounder, Sebastian, Scuttle these realistic-looking designs, and I just found it off-putting. It just looks strange hearing a Jamaican accent coming out of that crab, or a child's voice from a realistic fish. I don't know if I'll get flack for this, but a remake that I thought did a great job of translating the animal characters to photorealistic CGI was Pinocchio. Honest John and Gideon were given realistic fur, but they did not go too overboard with making them fit into the real world, and they were still expressive. When done properly, audiences can accept slightly cartoony-looking animals residing in the live-action world. Another element I was not the biggest fan of was the frequent use of dialogue taken from the animated film. Obviously, some of that is to be expected when they're using that as the jumping off point for the remake and using the same songs and characters. However, any time a character like Sebastian or Flounder said a line we already heard them say in the earlier movie, it took me out of it because it just reminded me of how that scene played out in the animated film. Most of the musical numbers are well performed and staged by the cast. The highlight is Part of Your World, beautifully sung by Halle Bailey. She understands the joy Ariel feels when in her grotto and her sadness in not being allowed to go to the human world, which all come across in her performance of this song. Hearing her sing, it makes perfect sense why Bailey was cast. McCarthy also does a splendid job of her rendition of Poor Unfortunate Souls. Kiss the Girl is the song people were most concerned about, with expectations that the song would be completely altered. All that worry was for naught, though. The intent is still the same, and Sebastian still tells Eric to kiss the girl. It remains the same song. You can relax. I was a tad underwhelmed with the presentation of Under the Sea, though. Because the sea animals are made to look realistic, it just looks like we're hearing it sung over a nature documentary. Under the Sea was always my favorite Little Mermaid number, so that was disappointing. Alan Menken has collaborated with Lin-Manuel Miranda to contribute three new songs. The best of these is one performed by Ariel as an inner monologue when she first goes on land of her new legs. It's a lovely little tune that captures her excitement at finally being in the human world. Prince Eric gets his own song, which is quite nice. And then Scuttle and Sebastian perform a number, which feels more Hamilton than The Little Mermaid, but it's so silly I was not too bothered by it. On a technical level, Rob Marshall takes full advantage of some of the film being set underwater. The camera swoops through the sea, and it makes sure the audience takes in the entire environment. I admit I cannot help but think that the backgrounds looked recycled from Finding Nemo, but hey, if you're going to depict a colorful undersea world, that's a great film to take influence from. One change in this version I found quite creative was shifting the setting to somewhere in the Caribbean. It also makes sense considering how much of an influence Calypso music had on the soundtrack for the animated film. I love everything about what Ron Clements and John Musker accomplished with The Little Mermaid, and it will always remain one of my all-time favorite animated movies, so it was nice to watch this remake and still enjoy it on its own terms. That's mainly thanks to the wonderful chemistry between Halle Bailey and Jonah Howard King as Ariel and Eric. The best thing a romance can do is get you invested in the two lovebirds, and this film succeeded at that. What they kept and altered was also not too bothersome. 
In the end, this Little Mermaid is a pleasant and likable experience, and in my opinion, one of the better Disney remakes. Thank you for watching.